Unangilam ka Congress Legislature Party hayeng dorbar thau ayeng ke jela u Dr Mukul Sanga ulong ba ke jingwan pandem u General Secretary Barim ka Kenhon King Atiar hnyau trap National Liberation Council u ba Chris Stephil Thankyu dei bentok ket ba la ka dei ni em kat kum ki kendon bala bu da ka an ulong ba kat kum ka an kane ka kam ka dei bet bat ka political department ka ban sampatha pat ek itnat ba dei ban le ya ka kam namar kam dei ka kam je ka home ne police department Namar Omdon bala ban sulehi da mano re mano banya kren bagi dekot ka kenhon ke ngatiar ka bala ban yalam bakla bar ka long ka bama ulong badon kam ban tipru lau sembot menteri rangba ke jela ba preston tinsong uya kren barabor bar kini gibriu ka bala pelong yo nongilam ke hnlc ban wan pandem namar hadian bayo thau sarkar kin suan ra ya kini gibriu da kejingmen bat kren ya ke bedeng ka kendo bat benrap ba dei mentokit bnia halor kini yo kila pandon kam ya kini gibriu hak election mla badang sudap Halor ke jingkenno jong jeron sekretari Barim ke HNLC ya ke Kongres na kaleng menteri rangba ke jela Barim ulong bo umkwa ban jubab ya kini ke jingkenno na mark sarkar kala le ya ke badai hak tu ke por ulong baro ki i kumno ke jingsuk kawan phai ne du ke por ba ke Kongres ka sensar khatam sekitan ba jor bhak le no bar ke sarkar Kongres hak tu ke por ke yeng bej hak ju ke nongrim na ke benta baro ki seng le no omban khen kerpang ya no ya no hak bai dei ba ki kam runar jong unong ilam Barim ke HNLC Nak leang u doktor mukul sama ulong bak sarkar kamla ban suklet bet no bar ka an ka dei ban le ya ka ban kam kumla le ya ki wei kronar na mar ka sarkar ka dei ban sngothu kumno ka jela ka ha ban yaj ha ki kipor na ki kam pentriem ki le no what was the stand of the government then i have not heard about the stand of the government with complete clarity of the present government okay but our stand was very clear we maintain with consistency that all the members of the ban outfits or the terrorist organization whether it is GNLA or HNLC or whichever must take the advantage of the offer of the government to withdraw themselves from the organization to which they belong to and take advantage of the offer of the government to surrender and assimilate themselves with to the with the national mainstream that is the stand of the government it has been consistent was there any inconsistency about the stand of the government then no therefore uh, we saw okay uh, everybody you know withdrawing from their respective organizations uh, and then taking advantage of the offer of the government surrendering and then engaging themselves in the productive rehabilitation exercise which included you know uh, various training program counseling skill training and many of them are now uh, getting uh, productively employed hmm? self employed what i mean is hmm? now this offer was available for all did we say that this offer is not available to hnlc or members of hnlc was anybody saying that hmm? they wanted a special treatment that is not available that was not available that was the stand of the government whether it was for sohan whether it was for whoever this is not available special treatment not available hmm. that was the stand of the government they had to withdraw from their respective organizations and surrender before the authorities and avail the benefit of the packages that was being offered by the state government and assimilate themselves with the national main mainstream there was no lack of consistency now the stand of the government is that you may withdraw you may surrender but then the heinous crimes will not be pardoned you know the law of the land will prevail that is the stand for all for all those uh, members of the militant outfits and terrorist organizations who have surrendered earlier all same thing even for the members of the ngo remember we have not we have not we have not uh, dropped the uh yeah cases in respect of uh, murder and other things you know so this stand is very consistent hmm. how can government say that okay even for murder we will you know pardon you this and that because you have to understand okay what was the background how uh, the state has gone through this whole turmoil of uh, agony and then pain because of this militancy and terrorist organizations activities across the state and uh, therefore fear for law Hmm. Ultimately, pave the way for people to self-regulate them. Therefore, law has to be law. 
we don't fear any individual but we fear the law that offer has been available to everybody not in a secrecy i think that offer was being provided to everybody uh, how many times i have given press statement that anybody who uh, wants to take advantage of this stand of the government this offer of the government uh, this is the time this is the time this is the time so many repeatedly uh, and then and then we we do not reach out to individuals like that we don't we, nobody was authorized to reach out to anybody not even the home minister you know not even the home minister let me be very clear you know these type of issues are taken up by political department not by home police okay let it be abundantly clear and therefore you know there is a system there is a system which is followed huh? you have to understand the whole institutionalizations of the system hmm. so that nobody can misuse it you know otherwise you cannot rule out any politician huh? from taking advantage of his own position and trying to uh, you you have talk you have listened about the whole debate on the you know politico criminal nexus all these things are important therefore there is a system which is available people have to follow that system because we government has not mandated anybody to negotiate or talk to them directly like that but we have given an offer for them which was available to everybody no special offer to anybody and mr tansong was talking regularly with these people earlier that I, after formation of government then they have been very happily bringing them and then making them surrender and talking big we'll have to find out they should investigate whether he was in talk with these guys all these years or whether they have used them also during last election we should find out so what is your take the moment uh, this uh, former general secretary of the hnlc he came over ground and he also immediately made an offer to the government that he should be allowed to be the interlocutor for peace talk between the government and the outside you see government has to be very clear about the stand they have what is the stand of the present government let them make it public let them make it public till now they have not make it public have they uh, no yeah with complete clarity that's why who who is authorized to talk to them also has to be found out hmm? whether it was a politician who was talking to them all these years and then they become a facilitator then if that is so then uh, what is the ultimate fallout vis-a-vis the law because of talking to someone who belongs to a ban outfit you know you look at the law law is very clear nobody has the luxury of having uh, that uh, freedom uh, to talk to any member of the ban outfit hmm. and say that no 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 i have no nexus you know if they are talking then they will have nexus hmm. so we'll have to find out that the government should find out the investigating authorities find out we will press for that